All right, this is a good time to talk about whether to use a clutch or not. And this is a uh, debate that uh, has been going on for a while, probably as long as there's been conversions. And there's basically two camps, those that uh, build them without a clutch and those that uh, build them with the clutch. And there seems to be a pretty adamant uh, feeling between the two camps. Um, but anyway, let's discuss the two. Um, first of all, what advantages are there to building a conversion without a clutch? Well, in talking with people over the years about this, uh, there are two main reasons to build a conversion without a clutch. And the first being that you save weight. You save the weight of the flywheel. You save the weight of the clutch components. And so that's a, a big argument. And the other is because you're not buying a clutch, uh, you know, your, your pressure plate and your friction disc and the flywheel, uh, there's a cost savings. So those are the two big reasons for going without a clutch. Now, what uh, might be reasons for using a clutch? Well, one is that um, when you're shifting, uh, especially with an electric motor, which has no compression, no uh, real method of decelerating once you put in the clutch and let off the throttle, that motor wants to continue spinning. Um, and so you don't have the matching, uh, especially when you're shifting up, your input shaft to the transmission is going to be going slower than your motor. And so you need to bring uh, things up to the same speed. And so how that works is they have little brass synchros in the transmission that as you go to put it in the next gear, it comes in contact with that synchro and spins the gear up to the same speed. Well, without a clutch, that's, you know, going to be a little more difficult because you have to wait for everything to come up to the same speed. And you're putting uh, more wear on those synchros in order to get things to mesh a little faster. Um, there's a, a three or four second uh, time in making the shift without the clutch. So that all your uh, gears you know, have a chance to get to the same speed. And typically if you're rushing that, you're putting undue stress and wear on the synchros of the transmission. So that's two reasons right there the less wear, and faster shifting. And then probably the most important reason in my mind is that it is the ultimate disconnect. In a panic or emergency situation, it, it's, it's a reflex to hit the brake and throw in the clutch. And yes, you're going to sacrifice the motor because as soon as you take the load off the motor, that thing's going to tack up and implode. Hopefully only implode. Possibly explode. Um, but it's most likely going to be contained to the engine department and not going to be a safety issue for you. The issue with trying to take it out of gear with no clutch is that once uh, let me back up. An idiosyncrasy, especially if you have a DC conversion, is if that controller fails, they typically fail under, you know, it'll fail uh, closed. In other words, it'll have uh, full power. And when you have that torque uh, being applied to your gears in the transmission, you will not be able to knock that out of gear. I don't care how big and strong you are, you're going to break other things before you knock that thing out of gear. So that's not an option. Uh, of course, there's other options that you should build into your conversion, such as being able to turn off the key, which would open up your main contactor and stop the flow. 
of uh, electricity to your controller and thus you know uh, doing away with the um, runaway situation. The other would be able to, to throw a, uh, a circuit breaker or a switch that opens up that circuit and achieves the same thing. But depending on the situation, your frame of mind, blah, 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 you know, like I said, the, the instinct and in, in a emergency quick response situation, thrown in the clutch is the ultimate disconnect. And uh, it's nice to have it at that time. Hopefully you'll never have to use any of those methods, but it's nice to have them in your arsenal if you needed them. And the other is, um, having the clutch will actually give the vehicle greater resale when you go to sell it. Uh, not everybody wants to have to deal with uh, trying to get the, uh, you know, shifting without a clutch, trying to get everything to, to match and taking that extra time to shift. The, uh, a friend of mine makes the comment that if only he was going to drive the car, whether it had a clutch or not, doesn't matter. But if his wife or daughter was going to drive the clutch, I drive the car, then he wants a clutch. And so that kind of summed it up and in my mind is that it has greater appeal to a greater audience if you have the clutch. So I recommend you use the clutch. Hello, I'm Richard with EV for You Custom Conversions. You want to learn more? You want to learn about all the components in greater detail? You want to actually install the components and wire a conversion? Test it and drive it? Well, you can. By attending one of ev for us three-day hands-on conversion workshops. You will get a chance to learn, discuss, ask questions about all the components used in the conversion. Wiring techniques, hardware used, safety, how it all goes together, and much more. But we don't just talk about it. We go into the shop and install the components in a vehicle, wire it up, and test it. After testing in the shop, we test it on our test track and in the industrial park where we're located. One of the vehicles we'll be using in 2014 is our sand rail. It's a blast. So come join us for three days of education and fun. Meet people from all over in a beautiful setting while learning how to convert a vehicle from gas to electric. ev for You provides lunch each day at great local restaurants. After hours, you can visit many of the local attractions, like Shasta Lake, the largest lake in California, Shasta Dam, the second largest concrete dam in the United States, Shasta Caverns. You can take a dinner cruise on Shasta Lake. Take a walk on the Sundial Bridge. Visit Mount Shasta. There's night skiing available during the winter. Visit Bernie Falls National Recreation Area. Or go kayaking at Whiskey Town Lake. You can check out the source of the Sacramento River. The Sacramento River is the largest river in the state of California. And you can see where it bubbles out, out of the ground. We've got world-class fishing, hiking, and biking, all within minutes of EV for Use shop. So we we'll hope you'll join us. So visit www.ev4unow.com and register today. The class sizes are limited, so don't delay.